Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I actually wanted to revisit the pocket fighter for tonight. I mean, well, today, well, morning for you guys. Morning for me, sorry. Morning for you guys, tonight for me. Uh, let's see here. I actually wanted to make it a lot, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? High tech-ish is probably a good word I can say. High tech-ish maybe. Okay, so let's... Hmm, let's try the pointy one, even though it really doesn't need that much air intake. It just looks pointy. Pointy equals cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our own cockpit. A little custom cockpit there. Custom, custom, custom. Let's see here. We need a flag. We need a flagon. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this. Oh, wow. Nope. This? Oh, okay. That's a little better. And that way the flag can kind of have a, a, have a bow to it just a little bit so I can grab, uh, let's see here. I need to update some of these flags. Yeah, yeah, because that looks like crap. It's supposed to be um one of the panels from the space shuttle. Kind of squished there a little bit. You know, find a way to unsquish it. I can do that some other time. There we go. That looks pretty neat, huh? Kind of got a screen going on there. Big giant screen and whatnot. Well, that'll work for now. I'm not trying to get all detailed here. Um, Okay, so the helmet's going to be about here. That's pretty good. Okay. Hmm. All right, actually, we're gonna have to do this. That's that. That's not. Uh, we're gonna have to back this up. Crap. We're gonna have to actually do it like this, like that. Hmm. What is going on? Whatever. Whatever, KSP. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats your rocket. I don't care. Yeah. You know what? That actually. Uh. That actually worked out a little better this way. <laughs> kind of like it. It's like a little little computer thing, a little, little cockpit computer thing. Although his helmet's going to come out to here, so maybe I should back this up a little bit. It's not completely in his face. Oh, that's that's that looks cool. I might make a flat version later, but it looks pretty cool. I, I actually... I actually like that cockpit idea. I need to look for um, different things I can get from like space pictures and whatnot. Like like I said, this is from the uh, shuttle, the shuttle, and uh, this is uh, like uh, data from like some sort of Japanese satellite screen. And built. There we go. And ooh, silver looks nice. I like the silver and the gold, orange. Hmm. Ooh, that actually looks nice. I don't know why, but that actually does look nice. So between the silver, eh, I like this one. It's kind of kind of spacey. So inside, oh wow, the inside actually, <laughs> the inside actually looks pretty decent. I kind of like the inside now. It, it's it's it, that actually looks really nice. No windows. The ultimate digital fighter. Actually, it probably have more uh, screens on it and everything else. But you know, let's pretend he's wearing a VR headset and he can see everything outside the craft. Hmm? He just spins. All he got, all he got to do have the VR headset look up and down left and right and it's as if it's as if all this bulkhead is not even here which you know I think they are actually have that already available on some military aircraft hmm I don't know I might keep the red light there we'll see we'll see how that is we'll see add a pilot make sure they don't need EVA pack I'll leave them the parachute so this is all stuff that we've learned from the VTOL SSTO is uh, putting this part here the A10 adapter and then the engine behind it it kills the drive for that engine if you want to put it on like a G11 hinge, which is kind of nice. Not gonna lie, it's kind of nice. So the drag literally almost completely disappears. Of course, there's more to it, but we're not building an SSTO, but we're gonna use that little technique that we've learned from building the SSTO. Okay, so we can actually see here. Hmm, maybe, hold on, I wanna try to make this look a little better. So maybe I'll just take this and move it up with that. What does that look like? Oh, not bad, okay, not bad. Maybe we'll leave it that color, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. We're not done yet. Hmm. <laughs> If only it were so easy. This is not a space fighter, even though I, even though I sort of would like to design one. Space fighters are irrelevant for actual space combat for reality purposes. Um, but drone fighters in space, now that's something you could probably do. Drone fighters could carry a hell of a lot more and they're extremely maneuverable. They don't have to worry about a biological occupant inside. So, you know, being smushed from going zero to a thousand in point not one millisecond 
second or whatever the case is. So they don't have that weakness. They're fast. They're very maneuverable. You put an AI behind them and they're extremely intelligent and they can carry weapons. That that act, they, they would actually be much better than just firing long range missiles at somebody. You could fire long range smart, well, sort of long range smart missile like fighters that would have an array, a plethora of weapons on them that could move up and down, left and right, just that quick and have, you know, well, I'm too tired to explain everything but I think it would be a lot better than just shooting missiles. I'm, of course, uh, talking about the Expanse, where they don't have any fighters at all. It's just long-range missiles that are very quick and everything else and hit the target. But wouldn't it be cool if they if those missiles would go to the target, be really quick and everything else, and then fire their own missiles, destroying the target, and then coming back? I'm just saying. And if anything, you could always use... You could always use them as kamikaze drone fighters, but until then, they would serve as weapon platforms. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. I'm trying to look for a cool fold-up wing kind of thing. Mm hmm. I feel like I could use that, but not really, huh? Or maybe. Yeah, that was an idea. We'll keep it in the back of our minds. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait. Okay, bring that piece back. I might be exhausted, but that doesn't mean I'm not creative. I'm just less creative than I could be, but I'm not completely dead in the water just yet. I'm starting to take, uh, this is starting to look a lot like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. <laughs> but hey, if it works, right? If it works. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, that folds up nicely, huh? We'll tuck it in a little bit more. Wow, that folds up real nice. It's almost right on the money. Well, we still have to add fuel to this thing any damn way. So we'll worry about that in a heartbeat. I kind of like the X-Wing pattern, but this might be more stable in flight like this with that uh, dihedral design in the main wings. Might be a little better. Could serve us a little better. This thing still needs fuel though. Mm. It's not too bad. It's not that much fuel. But again, these aren't long range fighters. These are like short skirmish kind of attack fighters. Let's give her the schnazzy suit. There we go. Confirm file overwrite. Pocket Fighter 3 already exists? Okay, well, maybe it's maybe it's the fourth gen, then. There we go. Let's give this baby a whirl. Still kind of... Right. Okay, well, at least it's, it's moving forward, right? Oh, wow, look at, look at her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Talk about command and control. Or should that be a thumbnail? I think, I think the, I think the jet fighter... Would probably be a better thumbnail. That is too cool. Oh, I like that. That is sweet. You know what? That's something you all will have already have seen as a post. Yeah. That's gonna be a nice post. That's gonna be a nice post. Alright, let's do this in three, two, one. Come on, you got plenty of air. You got you got this for air. Fuel? <gasps> I forgot to put fuel in the tank. 60, 70, 80, TWR of 1. There we go. Two-thirds power gives us... No. Yes. <laughs> Gears up. And here we go. Oh, that is lovely. That is... That is lovely. Moving forward. Wait till it comes to a full and complete. All right. Cannot lock. Of course you can't. Thank you, KSP, for being an absolute dick. How about now? Thank you. Oh, she's very maneuverable, that's for sure. Is this locked? Says so. How about this? No, of course not. Oh, my. Oh, crap. Eh. Wow. Well, I'll be damned. That's a neat little feature, huh? Oh yeah, these have a really high tolerance impact, huh? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a roll cage. Now we need to add some weapons. Oh, hmm. You don't say. You don't say. <laughs> pew pew. And, uh, okay, launch velocity is way out of... We don't want to destroy the craft. We're not trying to make an Orion drive in front of the fighter. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa! Yes! <laughs> I think my wife has fucking lost her mind. Yep, she's lost her mind. Well, I guess being married to me kind of, you know, can do that to you. Oh! You know what? Maybe the dihedral design was uh, hurting us because now it feels like I have a lot of control. I mean, I have extra reaction wheels too, which I'm sure helps. 
but I have a lot of control now. This is much nicer. Oh yeah. Talk about space age. Oh, she's pretty damn maneuverable too. Go after something a little bigger. Oh yeah, much better. So now we're just gonna go over here and land. Doesn't matter where. Anywhere is fine. I'm not worried about pinpointing anything. Okay, we'll slow down to almost zip. Remember to unlock everything. Okay, and now just coming in for a landing. Doesn't really matter where. Oh, this spot right here is good. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Doink. Okay, that's all right. I'll just do this. <laughs> Problem solved. Problem solved. Oh yeah, it can flip itself back over. Me likey. Me likey. Have a good day, everybody. Love you all. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.